It's hard to believe, but it was one year ago today that the FDA authorized Pfizer's COVID vaccine. Since then, almost 500 million shots have been administered across the country, with 60% of eligible Americans fully vaccinated. But there's new cause for concern, including here in New York. As CBS's Michael George explains, good evening, Michael. Ed, good evening. New COVID infections in New York are up 43% since Thanksgiving, and more than 30 hospitals have had to cancel elective surgeries to free up hospital beds. The new indoor mask mandate is intended to fight another winter surge. The U.S. is bracing for a COVID comeback. New cases nationwide have increased 37% over the last week. I know COVID rates are going up everywhere and it's really scary to us. New York is joining six other states in requiring masks indoors. Governor Kathy Hochul's order for businesses starts Monday. Everyone inside masks up or shows proof of full vaccination. If we can't get more people vaccinated or boosted, I have to protect people, but also the economy. Driven by the Delta variant, hospitalizations nationwide jumped 10% in just one week. Hospital workers never went home. They've been in the hospital for fighting this from day one. The rise in new infections comes as the country reached a milestone. 200 million people fully vaccinated. Still, 28% of Americans have not gotten a single dose, one year after vaccines first became available. Dr. Anthony Fauci says getting vaccinated and boosted is even more critical as the Omicron variant spreads faster than Delta. If it does what we think it's going to do within the next couple of months, it's going to kick Delta off the map. And this new mask mandate is temporary. The governor says next month they'll look at the case numbers and determine whether it needs to be extended past January 15th. Ed. Michael George here in New York for us tonight. Thank you.